I'd like to assemble the nose cone now. Um, you're going to need the two spokes, like here. And if they still have the little pieces in them, go ahead and pop those out with the uh, graphite rod. Uh, you're also going to need the foam plug, the nose cone, and you're going to need uh, super glue or epoxy or and a uh, drill bit. And then I'm using a quarter inch drill bit. Um, the, the diameter of this is not really that important, as you'll see here in a minute. Um, now, when you use um, when you're working with the foam, you have to use foam safe super glue, and then it will say that on the bottle. Um, this is um, odorless gap filling, and it'll also say somewhere on here. 100% uh, foam safe, um, so that when you put it on the foam, it won't it won't dissolve it and melt it. Um, super glue is getting very expensive, and I was shocked when I bought this bottle last night. So you can also use five minute epoxy. Five minute epoxy is getting to be cheaper than this stuff. Uh, the only difference is is it takes a little bit longer to set up and harden. Uh, but for the video, I'll just use um, odorless super glue. Um, we want to take our foam plug and we want to approximate where the middle is. So I'll say it's like about right there. And we want to put a hole in it and the hole is for this rod. Um, so you just take your drill bit and you can just do it by hand. Foam is pretty soft and it, the hole doesn't have to be pretty um, because you're not going to see it anyway. All right, so there's my hole, and I want to glue one of the um, discs on, and I want it centered up right on there, and I'll be using the foam safe super glue. slide it around before it has a chance to cure on you. Then wipe off any excess that oozes out, which is always a good idea. Okay. Now, this is going to be the top. So I want to find the hole through the middle. It's got to be down there somewhere. Maybe if I go through this end, there we go. So I'll just pull it through, and then I want to glue, uh, well, I won't glue it in place yet. Let me put this one on here, on the other end, and I'm going to put it against there. Just like that. So let's put some glue on there. Oh, it came through. <laughs> this is um, thick super glue. Um, I just don't want it running around all other places. It comes in thick or thin, and I chose the thick. So I'm gonna slide that right up against there. Make sure it's centered. Wipe off any excess. And now I want to pull the, the graphite rod through it. And I just want just a little nub poking out on the top side. And I'm going to glue that down. All right. It's just like that. And it should spin up nicely, which it does. Now, I want to put some glue on the bottom here, but I, I'm, I'm hesitant to use thick. I want to use thin because I need this to be as flat as possible because what's going to happen is this is a little post here on the hub. That's going to spin right up against the, uh, the, the, ho the spokes right here. So if, it, if there's any bumps there, then it's going to kind of wobble as it goes around. And I want it to be nice and smooth. 
So I'm just going to use just a just a tiny tiny drop of thin super glue, and because of the the hole through the uh, foam, it shouldn't attack it. We hope. So just a little drop, and then I'm going to wipe it off. That was way too much. And I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the kicker. Just like that. Okay. All right, that's spinning really nice. That's how I want it. Um, now we'll go ahead and glue the nose cone on, and it's just going to slide into the nose cone like that. And we're going to glue it in place again. Um, in this case, you know, epoxy works real fine. Um, I'm going to use the thick again. Just going to put a little bit of super glue around the edge. it through. Now spin it around. Make sure that the nose cone is nice and straight and not crooked. And it looks pretty good. So at this point um, the nose cone is assembled and I'm just going to let this all dry and harden um, before putting it all back together.